All right, we're going to talk about my favorite ship, my most recent ship, the Doomwing. This is C class. I have a B class version of this that is slightly faster, um, but I wanted one that had high cargo. This one has 7,800 base cargo, 12.8K while I'm in it, has eight crew, all the crafting modules, and it's maximum agility. Um, I'm going to show you it in action right now. And just to show you guys, I am on very hard difficulty. Now, if I went into targeting mode, these would die substantially faster. But just to show you how strong this is. And the third gun is optional. I'll show you uh, targeting mode on this. Very, very, very agile for being 12.8K cargo. Changes directions very, very quickly. Doesn't require much power in the modules. As you can see, the particle beams, left click, right click. And this is the Gauss gun. You can change this to whatever you want. I had never used it, wanted to try it. It's not bad, smaller range. Might be better off with like a, one of the PBOs or something in that place. But let's go ahead and get into the build and we will break down how to build this and talk more about its features and give you guys a walkthrough. All right, we're gonna break down exactly how to build this. As you guys can see the stats over here, they're a little bit higher while I'm inside of it. All right, one thing to get into before we break this down, rebuild it and all that. Um, there are some exclusive parts here. So what I would do is I would still steal a C-class ship and go swap out the landing gear. So go to Nova, swap out that current landing gear for NG20s, they're four thrust, they are amazing. And then you have to go to Freestar Space. I personally bought them at Stroud to buy the Sal 6830s. These engines have crazy thrust while only being two power. So six of these, they're quite expensive. So I bought these at Stroud. And if you wanted like a Nova or a Dimos bridge, you have to buy that there. So my build order, I went to Nova for the landers. I went to Stroud for the engines. I slapped them on a stolen C-class ship. And then I went to my base for the rest of it. The large landing pad, everything else you see here, you can build at your base. With the exception of the weapons, the weapons I went to the main landing pad in Neon, the ship services building, and they had all the weapons I wanted. And with that, let's go ahead and get into the build. All right, and this is the starting point here. This is all the core units here. So you have your landing gear down here, the NG6. You have the Stroud cockpit, which is four crew. You have the control stations, which gets you to eight crew. And then here we have the all-in-one, so we could sleep for that important XP buff. We have the workshop over here, and we have the science lab over here. So that's all the key elements. This is only here for our docking bay. So we have to have the docking bay high enough. Otherwise, you never, ever go up that. So that goes just like that. A lot of this other stuff is cosmetic. One important thing for this build, you need the NG20 landing gear. They're four thrust. They are amazing. You're going to have to buy them in Nova. So whatever ship you are going to tear apart to do this with, I recommend starting at Nova and swapping out that landing gear for more than enough of these. They're not expensive and that'll make your build that much smoother. Also, if you want like the Nova bridge for a bigger build, those are the couple things to buy over there. Also, Nova has a companion way, which is considered a hab. It is a hallway. You can actually use it to connect your wings and use habitats for your wings. I've actually uh, done an interesting build with that. So hopefully this helps. Like I said, restart it. Rewind it, pause it, do what you need to do to get this figured out. And if you have any questions with it, you can always come by the stream and ask. I'm glad to help. Uh, we're going to go ahead and give you guys a tour of the inside of this as well. And we will leave you guys with more action of this thing killing stuff.
All right, we're gonna give you guys a tour of this beast. The landing gear right by the front of the ship, quite simple. We go in. And we are automatically by the cockpits. Cockpits, pretty decent. We have the car captain's locker over there, armillary and cargo hold over there. This is our control stations for the four extra crew. This is our all-in-one hab unit. We have the science lab what over present, here. Present. And we have the workshop right, so over here. So you will never go up this ladder unless you are docking to another ship. So very, very efficient. And as you can see the stats of it while I'm inside of it, um, it is quite nice. You can swap out these Gauss guns for whatever you want. Um, since it is C-Class, there is some super powerful auto turrets. I personally like firing all my weapons, but the turrets are actually quite a bit stronger if you're into that. Um, so this, this gun is pretty optional. The other guns, you know, I'd say they're probably best in class, but it's all subjective based on what you like and whatnot. So hopefully this has been helpful to you. I will have some other build videos coming up. I have... The Abomination, we could talk about that a little bit. These hallways connect to HAB units out here. I am not happy with that build. We learned though. And this thing here is 30,000 base cargo and it is absolutely a warship. I'll have a guide for that. And this, my favorite ship, 180 max speed, 100 maneuverability. It is basically what I just showed you guys is a bigger version of this ship. I wanted to keep this look, um, but this thing is this thing is insane. I absolutely love this thing. And it's only B class, so we'll have a guide video for that as well. So yeah, we'll leave you guys with some action. And yeah, like I said, if you have any questions, links are in the description. I'm easy to find. You guys this in action hopefully we get some bounty defenders out of this extra targets we do we do absolutely shreds all while having 12.8 K cargo yeah, we'll go for that guy then This is my favorite back end out of all my ships. Just so sleek. 